Well, thanks so much for coming on. And Michael, there are so many people who could be your 2023 hero. Why Grush? Nobody certainly had the impact on me personally this year. It was an extraordinary thing that he did. Not only the claims that he made, but also the process by which he made them. In this country, we uh, tend to have a, a bifurcated response to whistleblowers. Either we praise them lavishly or we uh, throw them to the wolves. In the case of David Grush, it seems like a little bit of both has happened. What's remarkable about Grush is he is one of the senior most uh, people in the intelligence community to ever make these kinds of claims. But he did it in a responsible way. He did it in the right way. He followed all the correct guidelines for reporting the information that he had. He took it to the uh, inspector general. He testified to Congress, uh, both in closed sessions and in open sessions. And the claims that he's made are, as you said in your introduction, earth shattering. If even some of them prove to be true, it rewrites our uh, history of this planet and who we are on it. And if they prove to be false, there's another amazing story waiting to be told about either how this guy uh, fooled everybody, including the inspector general. And if, if he believes he's telling the truth, then what is going on in the, 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 the labyrinths of our Pentagon that would make him believe this? Right. How did he get that information to begin with? You know, Michael, I'm struck by this because fans of yours, they know you as this actor and, and comedian. You're very serious about this. You are not joking about UFOs. Can I ask, why are you so passionate about this subject? Was it Grush that got you hooked back into this topic this year? Well, no, I've been I've been plugged into this topic since a, I mean, since a, since I was a kid, but more recently since the Leslie Kane Ralph Blumenthal article in the New York Times in 2017, and then they were the same reporters who broke the David Grush story in the debrief, followed up by the excellent Ross Coulthard interview, which you uh, played a clip of. And kudos to News Nation for staying on top of this and treating this topic with the seriousness it deserves. The United States government has already acknowledged that there are things going on in the sky that we cannot explain. That's the government's position as of 2017. It's a position they have maintained. Nobody in the government is saying this is extraterrestrial. David Grush isn't necessarily saying this is extraterrestrial. What he and others are saying is this is a serious topic. There are things in our skies moving in ways that we do not understand and cannot uh, replicate using the physics that we have today. So what is that? I, I mean, it, it's the, the, the surprising thing to me is that this is not a more compelling story across the entirety of the culture, because in my estimation, there's no bigger story in human history than this. I appreciate that. Um, you know, and, and David Grush told News Nation in an exclusive interview that he's going to publish an op-ed uh, with more information soon in the new year. What specifically are you hoping that he will disclose or speak about in that? Well, so it's some of the initial criticism against, uh, uh, criticisms against Grush was that he was not a firsthand witness to anything that he described. I've since heard, and I think he has said that he does, in fact, have some firsthand uh, witness. He has had some firsthand encounters, but that he wasn't cleared before now to speak of them. So in his coming op-ed, I would hope that he talks about his own direct firsthand experience uh, with this phenomenon. Michael, if you could have five minutes with David Grush, what would you ask him? I would want to, I, I guess I would say, hey, David, what are all the things that you couldn't say publicly? Can you please say them to me <laughs> privately? And I suspect sure. he would say no, because he's an honorable guy who is bound mm -hmm. by the limits of the NDAs that he signed. And he's done an amazing job respecting those and respecting national security. Michael, do you think that the American populace has a right to all of the information that the government has on UAPs? I mean, do you think that might just cause mass chaos? No. I mean, I think freedom, I mean, information, I think, wants to be free. And there may be perfectly legitimate reasons, national security reasons, to keep some of this information hidden. Um, but I think to acknowledge the, the, the sort of broad contours of the reality of what people are experiencing on a daily basis is the least we can do, um, both, to, both to, to put to bed the sort of ridicule that accompanies this topic, but also 
to move the conversation forward. Instead of continuously having the are they real, are they not real debate, let's let's have that moment of settling that and say, yes, this is real. And we can then move the conversation past this point that it seems to have been stuck on for decades. It's worth keeping in mind that although Grush is the highest ranking person to ever make these allegations, he's not the first. Over the decades, there have been many people who have made similar accusations against the United States government um, with a lot of the same details that the United States has had in its possession. These craft has had them since at least the 40s and possibly earlier. Um, and that there has been some sort of conspiracy of silence and ridicule to keep this topic under, uh, you know, the domain of national security. So what is the truth? I think the American people and, in fact, the global population deserves to know what is the actual truth about where we are, where, who we are, and what is the state of our understanding of this phenomenon? Because I think the more information that comes out, the more it seems clear that we know a lot uh, and have known a lot for decades. So can't we get our best minds working on this topic? That's what I think Grush is trying to, to, to push forward. He's trying to transform the conversation from that of ridicule and scorn, which he has willingly allowed himself to be subjected to, to a more mainstream conversation about our place in the universe. It's a fascinating topic. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.